Yun Ranyue, originally a genius girl, was praised by the stars for her cute treasure, cruel scum, strong pet, divine beast, vest, and swapped identity. Once her parents retrieved her exiled sister, she felt like she had been beaten to hell, robbed of her engagement, ruined her appearance, gouged out her eyes, and finally snatched away her divine beast, throwing her to the ghost. As soon as he opened his eyes, a sneer appeared on the corner of his mouth from the 22nd century as a psychic assassin. Let's count the old and new grudges together. Five years later, she returned forcefully with the divine beast Mengbao after worshipping nine of the strongest masters, trampling on scumbags and kicking lowly women, reversing the world. I didn't expect not only the powerful biological parents to come, but also the father of the child to be entangled. A certain demon emperor. Woman, you must be responsible for leaving such a big psychological shadow on me five years ago. Keywords of the novel. Beast riding mad concubine. Exquisite emperor Zun, heart point pet without pop-ups, beast riding mad concubine. Exquisite emperor Zun, heart point pet complete collection download txt, beast riding mad concubine. Exquisite emperor Zun, heart point pet latest chapter reading. Chapter 1, Man, She Wants a Man. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1, Man, She Wants a Man. Ah. It hurts so much. Why are you treating me like this? Mom and Dad, I am also your biological daughter. Why did you all change when Sister came back? Qinyin Continent, within the General's Mansion of the Four Elephants Kingdom. A young girl lay on the ground covered in blood, her limbs twisted and unable to move. Her delicate face was scratched to pieces and her flesh was blurred. She is Yun Ranyue, the legitimate young lady of the general's mansion. She has been engaged to the crown prince since childhood and holds a noble status. She has a stunning appearance and exceptional talent. At a young age, she has already gained a great reputation and is the dream saint in the hearts of all men in the Four Elephants' Kingdom. But she didn't expect that her life would be completely destroyed after her parents found their stranded twin sisters. They not only asked her to give up her engagement to her sister, but also asked her to give up the phantom beast egg that she had raised for sixteen years to her sister. She is your own sister, who has been living in exile since childhood and has suffered a lot. You have lived a luxurious life in the general's mansion, and we have never had a day of hardship. Everything you have is for you. Now we are just asking you to give up your belongings to your sister, and you dare to run away. It's really disappointing for us. Mother Xiao stared at her with disgust, as if she had done something completely wrong. Mom, I'm afraid. Give the divine beast egg to my sister, and I'll be destroyed. I know you're angry, but you've already broken my tendons, ruined my elixir field, and made my sister scratch my face. Isn't that enough to relieve my anger? Yun Ranyue lowered her posture and begged bitterly. Now she only wants to save the divine beast egg. Because if you want to give the phantom beast to someone else, you have to dig out the phantom space in the center of your eyebrows. When each person is born, a magical beast egg will be born in the magical space between their eyebrows. The magical beast is divided into one to nine levels, and above the nine levels, there are also rare holy and divine levels. Yun Ranyue's beast egg is a divine level beast egg, which was recently detected by the dean of the Kanglin College of the First College as a gluttonous divine beast. It is the strongest illusionary bloodline that has been born for thousands of years, except for Jiuyo ancient holy emperor Zunlong Yeyan. So how could she possibly give up her tightly connected divine beast eggs? Mom and Dad, don't talk nonsense to this ungrateful white-eyed wolf. After raising her for sixteen years, she's not even willing to handle such a small matter. Damn it! A beautiful girl squatted in front of Yun Ranyue, looking down at her from a high position, with a bloodthirsty sneer on her lips. She wielded a sharp knife and plunged it into Yun Ranyue's eyebrows. Ah! The excruciating pain struck, and Yun Ranyue's eyebrows were pried open, bleeding profusely. A vast and ancient aura came from within. 
Yun Shuewe showed a happy expression and said, You really have the aura of a divine beast. This white-eyed wolf is so lucky. Vivi, no matter how lucky she is, she's not as good as you. Now this divine beast egg will be yours soon. You are the adopted daughter of His Majesty the Holy Kingdom of the Primordial, and you will soon enter the Tsangwan Academy. No young woman in the entire Qingyun continent can compare to you. Zhao's smile was full of excitement on her face. Your Majesty Taichu's adopted daughter. Didn't my parents say that my sister suffered a lot outside? Turns out everything was just deceiving her, deceiving her to give everything to her sister. Let everyone pity my sister. Yun Ranyue gritted her teeth tightly. Yun Shuewe also smiled smugly, and then her expression froze and she said angrily. Dad, come and help me, this divine beast egg is unwilling to come out. General Yun on the side, upon seeing this, approached and cruelly grabbed Yun Ranyue's neck. Don't move, obediently let your sister dig it out. Yun Ranyue almost suffocated and looked at them in disbelief. Are these really her relatives? Why do parents become so unfamiliar? Although they were not very friendly to themselves before, they had never been as cruel as they are today, as if she were just a little dog they raised casually, teasing when happy and killing when unhappy. She found it difficult to resist, and the imaginary space between her eyebrows was dug out by Yun Shuewei. A golden egg fell into Yun Shuewei's hand and slowly grew larger. Yun Ranyue can feel the blood connection between her and golden egg, which is the divine beast egg that she has nourished with her heart's blood for sixteen years. She could even see black shadows flowing inside the eggshell, and the divine beast inside could quickly break through and emerge. Don't. This is my fantasy beast. Give it back to me. Yun Ranyue screamed in pain, and as Yun Shuewei cut open her finger and dripped blood, she felt that the connection between the divine beast egg and her was becoming weaker and weaker. That was an indispensable part of her life, but now it belongs to someone else. She's not willing. The black pupils suddenly burst into a purple glow, and the scorching breath instantly erupted, sweeping the entire secret room. Yun Shuewe showed a look of shock and said, purple eyes. She gritted her teeth and raised her hand to grab Yun Ranyue's eyes with sharp nails. Puzzy. The purple light quickly extinguished, and she had two bloody purple eyeballs on her hands, while Yun Ranyue had two more blood holes on her face. Then those two eyeballs turned into purple gemstones, shining brightly and beautifully. Annihilation Purple Eyes only the pure bloodline of the primordial holy kingdom can give birth to the purple eyes of annihilation. A hint of jealousy flashed in Yun Shuowei's heart, but then she smiled. The gluttonous beast and the purple pupils of destruction are now hers. The pain was extreme, and Yun Ranyue's breath was weak, leaving only twisted hatred in her heart. Blood and tears were left on her cheeks, and she gritted her teeth and said, you will regret treating me like this one day. Yun Shuewei grinned harshly and said. It's a pity that this day will never come. The crown prince never forgets about you and wants to crown you as his concubine. Proud like me, how can we serve together with other women? If the crown prince finds out that you are being ridden by thousands of people, guess how disgusting his expression would be. What are you doing? Of course it makes you a loser. Yun Shuewei smiled eerily and roughly poured a bottle of green medicine into her throat. No. No. Mom and Dad. Not only did her parents not save her, but they also laughed happily on the side. Yun Ranyue's whole body began to tremble, with a layer of frost on her body. As long as it's a public one, you will entangle yourself and throw you into the ghost valley. In a moment, let the crown prince see how you can willingly humbly face the ugly evil spirit. Let the cultivators of the four elephant kingdom also see how lowly the saints they used to see were. It's so cold. Like falling into an ice cellar. Yun Ranyue opened her eyes and realized something was wrong. She couldn't see and was in pain all over, making her gasp for breath. A gloomy aura came from around, 
as if countless cold hands were pulling at her clothes. What's going on? She, the first superpower assassin of the 22nd century, was surrounded and killed by tens of thousands of people in order to protect a divine egg. She jumped into the volcanic magma, and her bones should have disappeared. Why does she still feel the pain of bone erosion and heartbreak? And it seems that her body is very abnormal, cold and hot, as if she has been drugged. She quickly activated her powers, but to her surprise, the powers were still present. Soon, blurry black shadows could be seen in her empty eyes. Her ability is pupillary surgery, which allows her to see through killing opportunities and illusions, and she has narrowly escaped death in multiple missions. What appeared in my eyes were countless twisted shadows, with greedy and disgusting faces printed on them, as if eagerly sniffing her body. She opened her mouth and said, Damn it, what kind of toad is this? What's scary is that she hates these ghosts who are neither human nor ghost in her heart, but her body involuntarily wants to get closer, and there seems to be a fire burning in her abdomen. Man, she wants a man. End of this chapter. Chapter 2, Accidentally. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2, Accidentally, Oh My God, Is That Yunran Moon? How did it become like this? I heard that she is very promiscuous in private, raising male pets and getting pregnant. After being discovered by General Yun, she killed her family with righteousness and was thrown into the Ghost Valley. I didn't expect the granddaughter to be such a woman, it's disgusting. In the Ghost Valley, countless cultivators stood on high platforms, watching the girls surrounded by ugly evil spirits at the bottom of the valley, with a look of disdain on their faces. This slut. Every day in front of this palace, he pretends to be so holy, yet he is so promiscuous. The crown prince came upon hearing the sound and looked at Yun Ranyue below, cursing angrily. Yun Shuewei curled her lips and said softly, Don't be angry, crown prince. Fortunately, you discovered it early, otherwise it will bring shame to the royal family in the future. The crown prince held her hand and looked at her affectionately. Yun Ranyue was surrounded by evil spirits, and a pair of cold hands touched her body, giving her a substantial sense of smoothness. She was so disgusted that she felt she couldn't let them continue to touch her. Moreover, there were still people watching her liveliness above her head. As all the ghosts greedily pounced, she activated her powers and a faint red light shone in her empty eyes. She controlled the nearest ghost and lay on its back breaking through the encirclement with lightning speed. Those ghosts pounced and quickly turned their heads and swept away in her direction. What's going on, why are all these ghosts running away? Why is Yunran Moon missing? The people above looked surprised when they saw this scene. There are too many ghosts floating densely in the air, and they cannot see where Yunran Yu has gone. Yun Shuewe had a bad premonition in her heart, but on second thought, Yun Ranyue had already become a waste and could not make any further mistakes. Moreover, that direction was a forbidden area of Ghost Valley. Yun Ranyue controlled the ghost to gallop at an extremely fast speed. She could see the crisis clearly and found that there was a place with a very clean atmosphere, without the black coldness. However, to my surprise, there was a vast abyss ahead. All the ghosts were watching, and she had no way out, but in her bloodshot eyes, there was a faint glimmer of vitality. Auntie dares to jump into magma, what's the point of the abyss? Her expression was fierce, and with a curl of her mouth, she suddenly jumped down into the abyss, like a shattered butterfly. Bang! Water splashed everywhere. Yun Ranyue sank into the cold bottom of the water, as if her internal organs had shifted and her whole body had lost its strength. She thought she was going to die again, and suddenly her body emitted a chill. Her abdomen was burning like flames, and this feeling of ice and fire duality came again. Man she needs a man. The cells all over the body seem to be clamoring, the medicinal properties controlling the body, instinctively searching for men. But there's a man with a fart in the water. Ha! Huh. She touched something. This tough muscle. It's a man. 
she used her pupils to vaguely see a man in the water with his hands and feet bound by an iron chain. He is tall and tall, with his head hanging down and his hair scattered, making it difficult to see his face clearly. His body is so cold that there is no warmth at all, but a heart on his chest is still slowly beating. Man live. The man tied up. That. Sleeping off and giving pillows, missing men and giving men gifts. Yun Ranua thinks she's lucky, but this big brother's luck may not be very good. In such a cold abyss, one can encounter a woman like oneself who is full of animal instincts. It's not just bad luck, don't be too miserable. Sorry brother, please save the world. Yun Ranua apologized and observed three seconds of silence on his behalf. The medicinal instinct of her body made her cling to the man like a water snake, wiping away her sense of shame. The man in the water suddenly opened his eyes, his deep eyes piercing like cold ice. He faced an ugly face with three blood holes and was stunned for a second, feeling furious in his heart. He is practicing in seclusion in this extremely yin place, suppressing toxins in his body, and soon it will be the day to break through. Where did the ugly woman come from? She's so bold that she dares to underestimate him. Before the words could be spoken, the woman's soft lips teased her. He stiffened all over, and then, spinning around, he unexpectedly entered a small world of ice and snow. It's that woman's fantasy space. But isn't her eyebrows already empty? Did she create another space? It's a great shame. Long Yeyan swore that he would cut this shameless woman to pieces once his cultivation level was lifted. However, on this day, his clone in the Nine Yushin Kingdom was attacked, triggering the ban. The body is instantly teleported back, merging with the clone. Open your eyes, surrounded by a cold palace, that extremely ugly woman is gone. At this moment, the entire Jyoyo Holy Kingdom felt an incredibly powerful pressure and anger. On the ground, blood flowed like a river, and all the bodies of various skilled assassins came to attack him. At the same time, a phoenix shadow appeared over the Nine Yushin Kingdom, shining brightly, indicating the hatching of divine beasts. Congratulations to Emperor Zun, congratulations to Emperor Zun. Your magical beast phoenix has finally broken through its shell. Long Yeyan's phantom beast is the divine beast phoenix, which has not hatched for many years. Today, when his body returns, the eggshell finally breaks open and his strength greatly increases. But everyone saw that Emperor Zun's face was extremely ugly and he had no joy at all. Because they couldn't hear the majestic and beautiful little phoenix speak, Master, where is the mistress? Where is the mistress? That ugly woman is not your mistress. But Master, they were hatched by their mother. On Long Yeyan's handsome and incomparable face, cracks appeared, and he couldn't help but grit his teeth. That woman tossed and turned for seven days and seven nights, and I don't know what she did, but she managed to turn the ancient phoenix out for him. We must find this damn woman. Yun Ranua found that the man in her space was missing, leaving only the iron chains made of Xian Bing iron. He doesn't seem to be confined here, but rather seeks self-breakthrough and suppresses toxins. Unfortunately, I met her and was interrupted by her. I don't know if I had gone crazy or not. I'm really sorry, big brother. I hope I haven't left any psychological shadow on you. And my current face is also hard to catch my eye if he develops a fear of women in the future, then she will be guilty too much. But I can't control so much now. Because she found that she had traveled, her mind was filled with many memories of the original owner, as well as an indelible surge of hatred. What a pitiful creature, being treated like this by my biological parents and sister. And now it seems that it's not necessarily biological. Don't worry, I'll avenge this for you. A fierce expression flashed across her face, and suddenly she showed a surprised expression. Ha! Huh. How did this god egg cross over with me? Yun Ranua used her pupil technique to see a blue egg in the illusion space, which was the divine egg she held when jumping into the magma in her previous life. This icy and snowy space seems to have been brought by the divine egg, 
so the fantasy space that was destroyed by Yun Xuewe has been restored. Click. Suddenly, the eggshell made a cracking sound. End of this chapter. Chapter 3, I Have Nine Big Masters. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3, I Have Nine Big Masters. Is the divine egg going to hatch so soon? In just a few blinks, a small head covered in blue scales emerged. There are horns on the head and a tail behind is this the legendary Qinglong divine beast. Master, they love their master the most. Little Qinglong uttered words and made a cute little lowly voice, leaping onto her shoulder with joy, affectionately rubbing against her cheek. Yun Ranyue. I understand the truth, but why are you talking so motorcycle like that? Perhaps it was discovered in Taiwan province at the time. Oh, it's okay then. Suddenly, she felt a close bloodline connection established with little Qinglong, and the blood hole in her eyebrows began to heal, leaving only a red mark in the end. Like drops of blood, enchanting and enchanting. The palpitating pain brought by Yun Xuewei's excavation of the fantasy space also disappeared. And I don't know if it's because she sucked on the man's spiritual power. The scars on her face have healed in these seven days and seven nights, except for the elixir and eyes, everything else is already intact. Suddenly, the earth shook and Yun Ranyue was thrown out of space before she could react. Xiaqinglong hugged her thigh, and one person and one beast were all swept into the water flow. A black hole appeared in front of her, like a giant beast opening its bloody mouth. Master, this seems to be the scent of the ghost realm. They are so scared. Little Qing Long opened his mouth wide, and one person and one beast were quickly devoured by the darkness. What happened? The ghost valley has been destroyed. In an instant, the ghost valley collapsed, and countless cultivators flew out of it, revealing a look of shock. Long Ye Yen arrived one step late. Watching the black hole disappear, his heart twitched and his face turned cold. At this moment, the direction of the general's mansion was born with an anomaly. The divine beast aura erupted, and a huge gluttonous phantom appeared in the night sky, causing people to look sideways and exclaim. What a strong divine beast aura! I heard that Miss Shuoe's phantom beast is a divine beast gluttony. It has hatched. A slut like Yun Ranyue doesn't even deserve to lift her sister's shoes. Little Phoenix stood on Long Yeyan's shoulder, looking towards the direction of the general's mansion, and suddenly said. Master, this gluttonous beast seems to have the scent of a master mother on its body. Five years later. A group of world-shaking masters stood at the entrance of the ghost realm, reluctant to bid farewell to Yun Ranyue and her son Xiaoyi. Well, that's right. Yun Ranyue's son's name is Xiaoyi. Unexpected meaning. Five years ago, she was unexpectedly drawn into the ghost realm from Ghost Valley and became a teacher to a group of world-renowned masters. Soon after, she unexpectedly discovered that she was pregnant. Those seven days and seven nights were truly fierce, and she stole all the seeds of men. However, Xiaoyi understood it as the meaning of heaven's will. He is the great treasure of his beautiful mother. It's not an accident. Moreover, this time when he goes out, he also needs to find his father who likes to tie himself up with latte chains and play self-abuse. Xiaoyuyu, you have achieved success in your studies now. We can't teach you anything else. Go back to the human world and inherit my Wuji Dan sect, continue to promote it. An immortal old man handed a token to Yun Ranyue and solemnly explained it. What's good about Donzong? Listen to me and become the leader of the Heavenly Sha sect, my first killer organization. In the future, you can chop anyone you want. An old man with a body full of evil energy snorted coldly. I know how to fight, kill, and teach bad children all day long. Moon, we don't listen to these old men. Xiaoyi's cooking skills are extremely vulgar. You go inherit my first floor in the world and count money every day until your hands cramp. The beautiful woman of Mio Mon hung a small gold spatula necklace around Xiaoyi's neck and said gently. Xiaoyi nodded and said, 
Grandma, don't worry. Xiaoyi will train her cooking skills and become the best cook in the world. Who makes his mother love to eat all kinds of delicious food the most? What's good about being a chef? It's such a waste. Yu Yu, teach Xiao Yi how to refine weapons more. If you go out, go to the Qiang sect. My Qiang sect is the strongest weapon refining sect in the world. No, go to the Qianquan Fuzong. Go to the Nine Star Sword Palace. Go to the Divine Doctor's Valley. Go to the Ghost King sect. Go to the Chaos Formation sect. Nine masters were full of gossip and handed tokens to Yun Ranyue one by one. A small suggestion. These tokens were so heavy that I quickly took out a box and helped my mother collect all the tokens. As they watched their tokens clink into the box like rags, the corners of their mouths twitched a few times. That is the creation token that cultivators all over the world flock to, symbolizing their ancestral identity. Any piece taken out can make the cultivation world tremble. Masters, Ranua has inherited your abilities and will definitely carry them forward. I don't know when we can meet again after leaving the ghost realm this time. You must take good care of yourselves. Yun Ranyue did not mention which master's sect she would inherit. She had her own plans and was afraid of scaring the masters when she spoke up. Separation is always sad, and everyone is reluctant to part with her and Xiaoyi. However, they cannot leave the ghost realm, nor can they keep living people in the ghost realm forever. Yu Yu, remember not to deal with that old Wang Ba, the dean of Tsangwan Academy. He's not a good person. Before leaving, the Grand Master solemnly and seriously explained to her. Yun Ranyue nodded obediently and thought to herself, coincidentally, she was just looking for revenge on that old man. When the old man was testing her talent, he made some moves in her fantasy space so that Yun Xueiwei could easily pry open her space and take away the gluttonous egg. And Yun Xueiwei should still be at Sangwan Academy. She must avenge this grudge, otherwise she won't be able to quell the hatred in her heart. After going out, she still had to find Xiaoyi's biological father, and I don't know if he had left a serious psychological shadow on that man. She had to make up for it. Master Milk Master Grandpa, let's go now. Don't give it away, you all go back. Xiaoyi will protect your mother. Xiaoyi carried a big and small bag on her back, waved at them, and walked out of the barrier with her mother in three turns. The barrier behind him twisted, and the masters and the dark ghost realm disappeared together. Mother and son appeared in a deep mountain forest. Yun Ranyue sighed. The exit of this ghost realm was opened by the nine masters with all their efforts. It was easy for her and Xiaoyi to come out, but if they wanted to go back and see them, it might be even harder than reaching the blue sky. Mother, don't sigh. You still have small intentions and cuteness. We will always be with your mother. Yes, yes. The little green dragon transformed into a green dragon hairpin, which was inserted into the black bun by Yun Ranyu. It still talks coquettishly, and when Xiaoyi first learned to speak, she almost got distracted by it. Son, your mother doesn't want to move, come and carry your mother. Yun Ranyue is too lazy. If she can sit, she will never stand. If she can lie down, she will never sit. After Yun Xueiwei dug out her eyes, her fourth master refined a pair of ghost pupils for her, which looked no different from normal eyes. However, she disliked the sunlight very much, and it was better to give her a knife to walk in the sunlight for joy. Besides, my son was born to play with. Mother, being petty behind your back will scare others. Even if it doesn't scare people, it's not good to scare flowers and plants. Xiaoyi rolled her eyes and took out paper and scissors. Let the ghost slaves carry their mother. End of this chapter. Chapter 4, It seems that your senior brothers have all died. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4, It seems that your senior brothers have all died. Xiaoyi's hand quickly appeared in the afterimage, cutting out paper figures and paper sedans with a loud noise. As the paper figure landed, 
he breathed a sigh and suddenly became no different from a real person. The sedan chair was also low.key and luxurious, looking very sturdy. Yun Ranyue sat in, comfortable and cool, extremely satisfied. The skills of Master Jio of the Ghost King sect have been vividly learned by Xiaoyi. There are already soft sedan chairs, so of course there needs to be a maid dedicated to serving her. With a curl of her mouth, she pulled out a small paper figure from her sleeve. The paper figure landed on the sedan chair and transformed into a delicate little maid. The maid, who was familiar with the way, took out a tea set from her Xiaoyi bundle and brewed tea for Yun Ranyue. Wow! It's Sister Aling. Mother, didn't you say you didn't bring Sister Aling to the human world? So you lied to Xiaoyi. She couldn't bear to part with you and insisted on following. Aling was the first paper figure cut out by Yun Ranyue five years ago when she first learned the unique skills of the Ghost King sect. Over the past five years, she gradually gained her own consciousness and even practiced. If she had been in the ghost domain all along, she would definitely have made great achievements in the future. Unfortunately, she did not want to stay in the ghost domain. Not coming into the human world is not necessarily a bad thing. Yun Ranyue yawned. Xiaoyi, mother, squint for a while, go ahead and lead the way. Okay. Xiaoyi's first visit to the human world was full of novelty in everything. He felt the popularity and deliberately led the ghost slaves to places with people. From afar, he saw several young men and women working on the body of a monster. Mother, these people are so frugal. They even put away the beards of monsters. Xiaoyi said with a strange expression on her face. What savings? This is the fifth level Tsangshue leopard, its beard is a material for refining tools. Little brat, what do you know? The person in front lifted their head and a young girl said angrily. One of them suddenly exclaimed in terror. Wait, Miss Yun, how could there be a soft sedan chair in such a dangerous monster mountain range? Something's wrong. As soon as the man's words were spoken, the other few people's hair stood on end. The little boy not far from the other side is white and tender, with a pink carving and jade carving, which looks quite normal. But behind him, there was actually a soft sedan chair carried by four sedan bearers, surrounded by white light gauze. You could vaguely see a woman leaning inside, soft and boneless, with a graceful and thought-provoking figure, and a kneeling maid sitting next to her. Strangely, the four sedan bearers were exactly the same, without any expression on their faces, pale and gloomy. Moreover, this is the vicious enclosure of the monster mountain range, and there is a possibility of being buried in the mouth of the beast at any time. Surprisingly, there are still people sitting in soft sedan chairs, which is very unusual. Shall we, ask the way and see where this is. At this moment, the lazy and agile voice of a woman came from the sedan chair. Yun Feifei widened her eyes. How could this voice resemble her cousin Yun Ranyue's voice? No, it's impossible. Yun Ranyue died long ago in the destroyed Ghost Valley, it's impossible to be still alive. It must just be a bit similar. Hello, may I ask where this is? Xiaoyi approached and spoke politely, her big black grape-like eyes filled with excitement. This is the first living person he has seen besides his mother. However, none of them returned to him, as their gaze fell entirely on Xiaoyi, gradually becoming greedy. Yun Feifei whispered. Senior brother, the outer garment on this little brat's body seems to be made of shark gauze, worth millions of gold. What's more, Sister Feifei? Look at the gemstones embedded in his belt, the thick vitality of his life, doesn't it look like the holy rank demon crystal? What? Holy level demon crystal. Yun Feifei suddenly felt that the fifth level demon crystal in her hand was no longer fragrant. You know, it took them several days and nights to kill this fifth order monster's crystal core. But the little brat in front of me actually has more than ten holy rank demon crystals on his belt. Valuable. The world is too unfair. Yun Ranyue's eyes in the soft sedan chair moved slightly, and through the gauze curtain, 
she could see Yun Fei Fei's face clearly. Suddenly, a faint sneer appeared at the corner of her mouth. Yun Fei Fei, the daughter of the third uncle, used to be the follower of the original owner, but she poisoned her on the eve of the original owner's escape, otherwise the original owner would not have been arrested. Not only that, Yun Fei Fei also took the opportunity to steal her admission token to Kanglin College. No wonder Yun Fei Fei has such qualifications to come to Kanglin Academy. It turns out she used her token. Tisk, it's really a coincidence. Yun Fei Fei didn't know that danger was about to come. She stared at the holy demon crystal on Xiaoyi's belt, her eyes turning red with jealousy. If all these holy level demon crystals belong to me, then I can join Snow Wei's cloud battle team and make it on the list. Sister Xuewei is the youngest talented girl in the entire Qinyun continent. She founded the cloud team at Sangwan Academy, gathering the strongest talents of the academy. Everyone takes pride in joining the cloud team. My cousin's gluttonous beast loves to eat demon crystals the most. If she can offer a holy level demon crystal, the gluttony will advance, and my cousin's strength will also increase. At that time, my cousin will definitely happily invite her to join the team. Thinking of this, Yun Fei Fei seemed to see the envious gazes that people cast at her after she joined the cloud battle team. She gave a fierce smile, picked up her sword and pointed at Xiaoyi, saying to the woman in the sedan chair. We are students of Kanglin College, and this mountain range is our testing ground. If you want to pass through here, leave all the treasures on your body. Otherwise, your lives will be entrusted here today. It turns out that the students at Kanglin College are a group of bandits, they have gained a lot of knowledge. Yun Ranyue played with a colorful obsidian, mocking at the corners of her mouth. The students taught by the despicable dean are indeed despicable. It is estimated that this Kanglin First College has rotted from the root. But she didn't expect that coming out of the ghost realm would be so close to Kanglin Academy. Bold. The people of Kanglin Academy, such as you, can comment freely. You are self-destructive. Several men drew their swords and attacked towards Yun Ranyue. Yun Fei Fei stared at Xiaoyi and suddenly his long sword unsheathed, with a sinister smile on her face. Little brat, do you want to know where this is? This is hell. Auntie, I'm the one who sent you to hell. As she spoke, her sword pointed straight at Xiaoyi's eyebrows, and her hand was extremely cunning and ruthless. She saw the little boy as if frightened and motionless. She chuckled inwardly and prepared to grab his belt with her other hand. However, at this moment, the little boy suddenly flashed with a precious light, and her whole body, along with her sword, was lifted away by a powerful force. She fell to the ground and spat out a few big mouthfuls of blood, unable to climb up. Yun Fei Fei couldn't believe it. It's a golden light. He actually has a ninth level defense weapon on him. The magic treasures are divided into levels 1 to 9, and the light emitted by different levels of magic treasures is different. The ninth level magic treasures are the golden light. The ninth level is already the top magic weapon in the Qingyun continent. Even a genius girl like her cousin Xuewei has only one sixth level magic weapon, and so it has swept through all kinds of geniuses. She couldn't believe that such a little kid had a ninth level magic weapon on him. Xiaoyi walked towards her and pouted unhappily, muttering. Hmph, scammer, my mother and I only came out of hell. If you have the ability to send us back, we will definitely thank your eighth generation ancestors. Yun Fei Fei. She certainly didn't believe the little boy's nonsense, so she cautiously stepped back and said, Don't come over, your mother will be killed by my senior brother soon. Xiaoyi blinked and said, You're talking the other way around. It seems like your senior brothers are all dead. End of this chapter. Chapter 5, Are Kanglin Academy a Group of Vegetable Dogs? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5, Are Kanglin Academy a Group of Vegetable Dogs? No, impossible. Yun Fei Fei looked towards the soft sedan chair in terror, only to see four sedan chair bearers still standing in place the gauze curtains fluttering in the wind, 
and the women inside were still in their lazy posture as before. However, all five of her senior brothers were lying on the ground, their bodies separated, and blood flowed down the ground. When the wind blew, the smell of blood filled the air. Yun Feifei's legs softened and she sat on the ground. Her face turned pale, almost nauseous, and she didn't hear a sound just now. She didn't even know how her senior brothers died, which made her hair stand on end and raised endless panic. Four sedan bearers walked over carrying soft sedans. Yun Feifei was frightened and shouted loudly. Don't kill me. My cousin is Yun Shuewei, have you heard of her? She is the daughter of the General of the Four Elephant Kingdom, the adopted daughter of His Majesty the Holy Kingdom of the Primordial Era, and has also worshipped many powerful teachers. Even the Dean of our Kanglin Academy is her master. If you kill me, my cousin will make you die without a whole body. Oh! With so many celebrities, she's really amazing. Yun Ranyua sneered lightly at the corners of her mouth. That's for sure. Her fantasy beast is still a famous gluttonous divine beast. I'm afraid you've never seen a divine beast in your life. Yun Feifei thought the woman in the sedan chair was afraid, and suddenly felt confident. Xiaoyi cut her throat and said, the gluttonous mythical beast is originally from her mother. That Yun Shuewei is really shameless. But what does this have to do with you? Yun Ranyue's voice joked. I have the best relationship with cousin Shuewei. If you kill me, you will be enemies with her. Even if you run to the ends of the earth in the future, she will not let you go. If you hand over all the treasures now, I won't let my cousin trouble you. As soon as she finished speaking, a powerful sword energy shot out from the soft sedan chair, causing a sudden sharp pain on her face and blood dripping continuously. Ah! My face! She has been disfigured. Yun Ranyue said to her son with a curved mouth. Xiaoyi, tie up the person. Let's go to Kanglin Academy to meet that famous genius girl. She's her closest cousin, and I'm sure she's willing to redeem someone. Yun Feifei was stunned. Is this woman crazy? How dare you kidnap her and extort Snow Wei's cousin? Qiyun City, located at the border of three countries in the northern region, is one of the most famous cities in the Qinyun continent. There is abundant spiritual energy here, and it is said that there are several spiritual veins underground, which leads to the endless generation of spiritual energy. The first college in mainland China, Kanglin College, is located in Qiyun City, covering hundreds of miles and gathering countless talented and powerful individuals. Even princes and princesses from various countries take pride in entering the college. Nowadays, Kanglin Academy is unparalleled in popularity, and there is no sect in the northern regions that can compete with it. It is the gathering place of all talents. However, on this day, people actually saw female students wearing Kanglin Academy costumes being tied up behind a sedan chair and dragged away. The female student had her hands tied and could only follow behind the sedan chair. Her mouth was stuffed with something and she couldn't speak. Her face was covered in flesh, and her beautiful face was cruelly disfigured. That seems to be Yun Shuewei's cousin Yun Feifei. What? How audacious! How dare you bully the cousin of our Red Cloud City Saint? The four sedan bearers walked very fast and quickly reached the end of the street from the street. Realizing that their direction was towards Kanglin College, people followed suit. The sedan chair stopped on the square at the entrance of Kanglin College. A little boy jumped off the sedan chair, his obsidian-like eyes seeming curious about everything, appearing soft, cute, and harmless to humans and animals. But people were dazzled by the shark veil and gemstones on his body. Wait, that's not a gem, it seems like a demon crystal. The black and gold demon crystal, isn't that a holy level demon crystal? My dear God! What a joke! Is it really fake? What kind of person is so arrogant? How dare they strike so hard at our junior sisters in Kanglin Academy? They want to die. At this moment, a group of students in white attire walked out of Kanglin Academy, 
consisting of more than ten people. They surrounded the soft sedan with great momentum. I'm a student from the DZ class, these few people are going to have bad luck now. Someone whispered. Tian, Di, Xian, and Huang, from high to low, are the talented men and women in the D class, second only to the Tian class. Who is in the sedan chair? Don't be a shrinking turtle, come out for me. The leading male student raised a long sword and pointed it at the woman lying on the side in the soft sedan chair, shouting loudly. One of them drew his sword and slashed at the rope tied to Yun Feifei behind the sedan chair. Unexpectedly, even his sword bounced out, and the seemingly ordinary rope didn't even have a gap. What kind of rope is this? Senior Brother Lin is a spiritual master with cultivation level, and he couldn't cut it off. Unless this rope is also a spiritual artifact and of high grade. A few students suddenly felt a little envious, feeling that this group of people were all covered in treasures. If they could take down all of them, they could divide up all these treasures. The leading male student gave a wink, their momentum suddenly rising and their weapons flickering. The two of them grabbed the little boy, while the rest of them attacked the people in the soft sedan chair. Ah! Two students were knocked out by a golden light. The others were even more miserable. The maid-like woman in the sedan chair just pulled out her sword, and the strong sword energy instantly injured those people, leaving sword marks on her body and screaming in agony. How could it be? The people around were stunned when they saw this scene. The students in the DZ class are all spiritual masters with cultivation levels, and they didn't even have a turn, yet they were all defeated. It should be noted that cultivation is divided into eight levels. Lingxue, Lingtu, Lingxue, Lingwang, Lingzong, Lingzuan, Linghuang, and Lingxian. Each level is further divided into one to nine levels, and advancing to each level is not an easy task. Many people only reach the realm of spiritual masters at the age of 40 or 50, and only geniuses from Kanglin Academy can achieve such cultivation at the age of 10 or 20. But they all lost. It's unbelievable to still be defeated by a little girl and a maid. Mother, they are good dishes. Are these the students of the world's top college? It seems like that's just the case. Xiaoyi looked at the person howling on the ground, shook her head, and her face was filled with disappointment. He was too disappointed. His mother said that her previous dream was to enter Kanglin College. She even came to take the entrance exam and won first place, successfully obtaining an admission token, but it was stolen by someone. He thought that the college his mother longed for was very strong, and there was not a single one who dared to take it. Yeah, it's like a group of vegetable dogs, it's so boring. People hear the woman in the sedan chair making lazy noises, her voice is extremely pleasant, like a decadent fairy voice, with a charming taste that captivates people's hearts. Just her words made countless people angry. Kanglin Academy is the pride of Qiyun City. How could it be a group of vegetable dogs? This woman doesn't even know the superiority of heaven and earth. You're shameless. What kind of person dares to cause trouble at the entrance of the college? At this moment, a loud voice came from far to near, with a man and a woman wielding swords flying into mid-air. They were dressed in purple college attire, with a haughty expression, looking down at the soft sedan on the square. It's Jiang Cheng and Yi Meng from the Tianzi class. Even the students from the Tianzi class were startled. They all seemed to be members of the Cloud Sky Squad. Jiang Cheng is the third level of the Lingwang realm, and Yi Meng is the second level. The students in the Tianzi class took action, it seems that these few people won't be able to leave alive. Amidst the chatter of the crowd, both Jiang Cheng and Yi Meng curled their lips and looked arrogantly at the figure of the woman in the soft sedan chair. Who is in the sedan chair? Quickly release Miss Yun, otherwise don't blame us for being impolite. That's right, get the people inside and get out of here. Kneel down and kowtow now. I'm considering leaving you a whole body. Wow, I'm so scared, mother. Are people here so flamboyant? Xiaoyi looked up at people with her head up, 
her neck was starting to ache. Yun Ranyue's voice was lazy. Habit is good, my dear. After all, people who have not been beaten by society feel like they are the most arrogant in the world. End of this chapter. Chapter 6, Uncle, Do You Think I Look Like Your Son? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6, Uncle, Do You Think I Look Like Your Son? I see, then if we want them to recognize us, we should beat them up a few more times. We beat them up, but it's actually a great kindness. Xiaoyi said thoughtfully. Yun Ranyue nodded in affirmation and said, That's right, we are really good people. Jiang Cheng and Yi Meng's faces were extremely ugly. They had never been so ignored or ridiculed before, it was simply a great shame. Don't hide inside, come out and die for me. Jiang Cheng's sword pointed at the cloud staining the moon. You don't have the right to see me yet, unless you ask the dean to come over. Ling, these two people are too noisy and have blocked their mouths. The two were furious, with a murderous intent flashing in their eyes. You're shameless. I still want to see the dean, what do you think you are? I don't know how to live or die. At this moment, the maid kneeling in the sedan chair slowly got up and walked out with an ordinary black sword. The two of them did not feel any spiritual power fluctuations from the maid, and did not show any cultivation. However, the students in the previous DZ class were probably injured by the maid's sword energy. The two of them had wary eyes, as if facing a great enemy. It's a bit interesting, Brother Yen. Look at that maid's sword, it's so powerful. It's amazing that a woman can handle such a sinister sword. But what surprised me even more was that they dared to provoke Kanglin Academy. Do you know that old man holds the most grudges? On the top floor of the medical clinic opposite Kanglin Academy, a young and handsome man looked out the window with interest and chattered incessantly. However, the man sitting on the grand tutor's chair turned a deaf ear. His eyebrows furrowed tightly, his eyes closed tightly, and a hint of impatience flashed on his face, which was like a ghost axe working in heaven to invert all sentient beings. With a few soft sounds, the silver needle on his head was forced out, and he opened his eyes expressionless, with a faint cold gleam flashing through his deep phoenix eyes. Oh, it's not time yet. Hu Xiu looked at the shattered ice soul silver needle on the ground, heartbroken. He didn't have many of these silver needles in total. Hu Xiu, if your medical skills were only at this level, you, the world's number one medical institution, could have closed down as soon as possible. Long Ye Yan pressed the center of his eyebrows, his face like frost. Hu Xiu said speechlessly, Brother Yen, you detest contact with people. This is a psychological problem, and I can only help you relieve the fatigue of not being able to sleep day and night. As the saying goes, you still need to tie the bell to get rid of it. You have to find the woman who forcibly forced you back then. Speaking later, Hu Xiu tried to suppress his laughter. His good friend has always been the proud son of heaven, and everyone looks up to him. Unexpectedly, five years ago, he was ambushed by a woman who has not been found since then. It's okay if he didn't find it, it left a serious psychological shadow on him. When he sees a woman, he hates it and can't have any contact with anyone, not even men. He can't help but want to kill someone. Hu Xiu didn't expect his friend to be tricked so badly by a woman. Long Ye Yan's gaze swept coldly towards him, and Hu Xiu quickly said sternly, All right, Brother Yan, tell me what that woman looks like, and I'll send someone to help you find her. Dead. Ah. Dead. Hu Xiu thought that woman was just looking for a place to hide, but he didn't expect that she had already died. This. It's a bit difficult to handle. On the square outside, a woman who had already died was leisurely eating crispy and fresh lotus seeds, watching two students from Arlinga's Tianzi class practicing swordsmanship. Those two students still have some skills, both of whom are cultivators in the spirit king realm. Their own illusionary beasts are also very powerful, but compared to Arling, they are still far behind. Aling defeated four with one enemy, and in no time, 
the two of them and the two beasts were already covered in sword marks. When their spiritual power was exhausted, Ah Ling's black long sword fell on their necks. Stop it! More students wearing Tianzi class costumes flew over, some riding high dot level spirit beasts, bringing strong pressure. Unfortunately, none of these people have the same face as Yun Xuewe. Ling watched as more people came over, and a hint of excitement flashed in her lifeless eyes. Yun Ranyue yawned and was about to squint for a while when suddenly she remembered how big she was. Looking outside the sedan chair, she couldn't even see her hair. A small white paper figure as big as a palm got into the sedan chair and gestured to one side with a creaking and dancing gesture. She looked towards the direction pointed by the little paper figure and saw that it was a family clinic. The plaque on the door read, The best clinic in the world, which was quite arrogant. As a lazy cancer grade 10 patient who can stay still, Yun Ranyue happily chose the latter between finding her son and taking a nap. Yen, since that woman can no longer be found, why don't you try contacting more women? As long as you overcome the psychological shadow, it won't be a problem. Hu Xiu gave Long Yeyan an idea. Long Yeyan stood up, put on his headgear, and walked out without looking back. A few steps after opening the door, a small object collided with his leg. He lowered his head and looked at a white and tender little boy with big and small eyes, his blood flowing rapidly in his body as if boiling. He looked at the delicate little boy with a striking resemblance to him, and instinctively thought to himself, when did he have such a big son? Hu Xiu caught up and chattered incessantly. Yen, I have other plans. What are you doing so quickly? I'm going. Is this your illegitimate child? Hu Xiu was completely stunned, as if he had seen a miniature version of Long Yeyan. However, this little boy was more delicate and delicate, with clean eyes like a deer. He was born with a natural love for laughter, unlike Yen Gu who always had a cold face and kept away from people. Wait. Brother Yen, can't you be touched by anyone? Why is he holding your thigh okay? Long Yeyan just realized it. He kept staring at the little boy's face, his blood boiling inside, forgetting that he was still holding his leg. Strangely, he did not have any aversion or disgust at all, but instead wanted to get close to the little boy. You. He was about to ask something when the little boy suddenly let go of his leg and ran towards Huixiu, then hugged Huixiu's thigh. Uncle, do you think I look like your son? Xiaoyi blinked and asked. He also liked the uncle wearing a mask just now, but his mother said that if a man wearing a mask is good or ugly, he must not be his father. Her mother said that his father is the most invincible and handsome in the universe, so as soon as he saw the handsome Huixiu, he turned to Huixiu's embrace. Huixiu. Good guy, is she dang dad actually me? He instinctively looked at Yen Gu and saw a cold light surging in his deep eyes. He quickly distanced himself from the little boy. No, kid, do you think I look like you? Are you just blindly recognizing my father? My mother said my father is good. Looking. Today, I saw 532 men, and you are the one who looks the best. I think there is a lot of hope. Also, I'm not called a child, I'm called Xiaoyi. It's a matter of fate, not an accident. Is there a difference between these two meanings? Isn't it all the same word? Forget it, the focus is not here. Are you even more good dot looking than Yen Gu? Hu Xiu felt happy in his heart. Although Yen Gu is wearing a mask, it does not prevent him from stealing music. He touched Xiaoyi's fair and tender face and said. Xiaoyi, you have a good eye but I'm not your father. The man behind you could be your father. End of this chapter. Chapter 7, Want to See Me, You're Not Eligible Yet. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 7, Want to See Me, You're Not Eligible Yet. Is the uncle wearing a mask my father? Xiaoyi looked at Long Yeyan curiously, but the mask uncle couldn't see his face clearly and was cold. But my mother once said that my dad is someone who likes to tie himself up with iron chains, so he should be very naughty. 
this uncle doesn't look very similar. I'm not his father. Long Yeyin glanced at Xiaoyi and said coldly, walking down without looking back. When I first saw Xiaoyi, his bloodline impulse had faded. He had been involved with a woman in his lifetime, who had long died in Ghost Valley and could not survive. He could not have a wandering son either. So there is only one possibility, this child is his eldest brother's illegitimate child, and there are not many of his eldest brother's illegitimate children in groups. Xiaoyi watched as the tall figure disappeared into the stairwell. For some reason, she suddenly felt a sense of loss and wanted to catch up. Uncle, aren't you really my dad? He looked up and asked Huxiu. I have always been as strict as Jade. How could I have a son as big as you? Huxiu touched his chin. What about your mother? What does your father look like? Don't you know? My mother said that my father looks stunning and is a first-class beautiful man. Huxiu chuckled and said, it seems that I do look quite like your father. Xiaoyi frowned and said, you're laughing too lewdly. My dad must not be you. After finishing speaking, I applied oil to my feet and ran without a trace. Huxiu. Xiaoyi ran out of the clinic and headed straight in one direction. At the end of the street, he saw a small paper figure on the ground that had been split in half. He pouted and muttered, Daddy wouldn't kill Xiaoyi's paper figure. He picked up the paper figure and looked up at the towering gate in front of him. The gate was tightly closed, and there were no words on the plaque, but nine stars connected together. Isn't this master's nine star sword sect? How could an uncle wearing a mask be inside? When he was thinking about whether the wall next to him would be easy to overturn, the jade stuck to his heart suddenly heated up. My mother called me, so I'll bring her over and meet this strange corn later. On the square, students dressed in white and purple college attire lay on the ground, along with their phantom beasts, with bruises and bruises all over their bodies, covered in sword marks. Yun Feifei originally felt very embarrassed and dared not even lift her head. Now that she saw all the senior brothers and sisters being beaten down one by one, she suddenly felt that being tied back was nothing. She thought to herself that the maid of the woman in the sedan chair had injured so many students, and the nature of the matter was even more serious. The college would never give up on this matter. At this moment, she saw the college elders and deacons rushing over in anger. She was overjoyed and quickly used her last spiritual power to force out the rag stuffed in her mouth. Then she shouted loudly to Yun Ranyue, You're dead. The elders and deacons have come, they are all powerful beings above the spiritual realm. Why don't you release me? Yun Ranyue yawned and ignored Yun Feifei. She held a handkerchief and pressed the physiological tears at the corner of her eyes. Gui Tong was troublesome and disliked the sun too much. Fortunately, the sun was finally setting. Ling, come back. The maid returned to her sedan chair with a sword in her hand. What kind of demon dares to cause trouble at Kanglin Academy? Hurry up and kneel down. A white-haired old man shouted in a low voice. I thought there were no more students at Kanglin College of Noah University. Among all the students, there was no match for my maid, and even the company elders had been dragging around for a while before coming. The lazy voice of Yun Ranyue came from the soft sedan chair, but this time her tone carried a hint of arrogant mockery. As long as it's a member of Kanglin Academy, there's no one who can't help but smoke when they hear this. The elders and deacons turned pale. They arrived late because they were holding a council of elders. How could they have imagined that someone dared to cause trouble at Kanglin Academy? What a arrogant and domineering young woman. You let the maid hurt so many students. How do you plan to settle this account? Another elder shouted coldly. My maid is just a legitimate defense. These students took the initiative, and if we calculate, your skills at Kanglin Academy are not as good as yours, right? The light and floating sound of the cloud-dyed moon reached everyone's ears. Bold. 
You tied our college student Yun Feifei behind a sedan chair and paraded the streets in public, seriously injuring her and damaging her appearance. You still have reason. You hide your head and tail, dare not come out, is it some shameless witch? Report your name. I want to see you, you're not qualified enough. Let someone from your college who can truly speak up come out, otherwise Yun Feifei would have been tied up like this. Blazing nonsense. This elder is the eighth elder of the college, and this one around us is the ninth elder. We don't have the qualifications, who does? Nature is your dean. As soon as this sentence was spoken, many people present took a deep breath. She spoke so loudly that she wanted the dean to come and see her. The dean has been ignoring the secular world for many years, settling in seclusion and storming the spiritual emperor realm. Even the first genius girl Yun Shuewei finds it difficult to see the dean once. What kind of person does this woman think she is, and can she meet the dean if she wants to? It's just a foolish dream. The eighth elder snorted coldly and suddenly made a move to cut at the rope tied to Yun Feifei. However, he never expected that the rope was not damaged at all. At the moment when his sword fell, a piercing black and gold light burst out, bouncing the eighth elder back. Holy relic! Everyone was surprised, they all guessed that this rope was not ordinary, but they never expected that such an ordinary-looking hemp rope would be a holy-level magical tool. You should know that all ten fingers of the holy artifact in the entire Qingyun continent can be counted, which one is not famous. When did such a holy artifact come out? Still in the hands of such a young woman. The nine elders and deacons on the side originally wanted to take action, but when they saw a sacred artifact, they all looked at the woman in the sedan chair calmly, their eyes guarded and vigilant. I said, unless you ask the person in charge of your college to come over, you may not be able to untie this rope with your strength. Give you another stick of incense, and if no one comes to talk to me, I will have to deal with Yun Feifei's private affairs on my own. As for me, I will repay you with my grievances. You should be able to guess Yun Feifei's fate. I don't know if this seat is qualified enough. At this moment, a middle dot aged man with a fairy like demeanor stepped on a crane and slowly flew over. It's Vice Dean. I didn't expect to startle the Vice Dean. When Yun Fei Fei saw the Vice Dean, it was as if she had seen a life dot saving straw, and she screamed in a sharp voice. Vice Dean, please help me quickly. This woman is cruel and ruthless. She not only killed five senior brothers and ruined my appearance, but also brought me back to extort and blackmail my cousin Shuewei. Kill her quickly. What? She has already killed five college students. And you also want to extort Yun Shuewei. The people present were instantly furious and filled with righteous indignation. You killed five students in this school. The powerful pressure of the vice dean fell on Yun Ranyue's head, and everyone around her felt suffocated. However, Yun Ranyue let out a light laugh. End of this chapter Chapter 8, It's Just an Ordinary Mother and Son, Laughing to Death, Unable to Fight at All. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 8, It's Just an Ordinary Mother and Son, Laughing to Death, Unable to Fight at All, Crazy Junior, Did You Kill the Students in Our School? Vice Dean Lu Sun looked coldly at Yun Ran Yueji in the sedan chair and asked. That's right, it's me. Yun Ran Yue replied with a straight and strong aura. As the saying goes, if someone doesn't offend me, I won't offend them. Vice Dean, the character of the students in your college is really bad. If this continues, we won't all be beaten to death outside in the future. I'm here to teach your students a lesson, which can be considered as helping your college reduce student losses. You should thank me. The crowd is so angry that their liver aches. Look at this mouth, is it speaking human language? Do our college students need you to teach them a lesson? Elder Jio snorted uncontrollably in anger. The students of our school respect their teachers and respect their morality. Why do you say they have poor moral character? You have killed people and tied Yun Feifei. You are not the final word. 
what a fair and upright person. In my opinion, he should be a chicken crowing dog thief. Yun Ranua sneered, laughing that the people in this college are quite eloquent. At this moment, the vice dean suddenly extended a hand in the direction of Yun Ranua, and a giant hand phantom appeared. The huge pressure poured down like a mountain and sea, and the air seemed to be twisted, making everyone present breathless. Is this the strength of the peak powerhouse in the spirit realm? It's too scary. Yun Feifei's eyes widened in surprise, and the vice dean took action. The woman who bullied her was doomed. It's best to slap it into a pulp to release Qi. Let's go. Suddenly, everyone saw a turtle shell thrown out from a distance by a little boy. The shell grew bigger and bigger, unexpectedly blocking the virtual shadow of the vice dean's giant hand in mid-air. How could it be? People's faces changed greatly and were shocked. The turtle shell of the mythical beast Xuanwu. The vice dean exclaimed in a deep voice, and the phantom of his giant hand shattered in mid-air. He took several steps back before finally standing firm. What? Is it actually the turtle shell of the Xuanwu divine beast? Oh my goodness, why is this child covered in treasures all over his body? Everyone was horrified, but it was the turtle shell of a divine beast. You should know, there were hardly any fallen divine beasts in the entire Qingyun continent. Divine beasts were born strong and could constantly advance, eventually soaring to a wider world. That child's clothes are sacred objects, and there are many holy crystals on his waist belt. Just these are enough to make people envious. Who knew, he could even take out the shell of Xuanwu. What is the origin of these two women? Mother, Xiaoyi just went to find her father, so the help came late. Mother, are you okay? Xiaoyi ran over flexibly and got into her mother's sedan chair. The Xuanwu turtle shell automatically shrank and flew back into his hand. However, although there was no threat, the vice dean narrowed his eyes and dared not take action easily. Looking for dad. Did you find your dad so quickly? Yun Ranyue asked her son in surprise. Xiaoyi shook her head and said, Xiaoyi seems to have misunderstood. Dad, how could he misidentify? Forget it, it's not important. Xiaoyi, my mother was just scared and needs to eat a Manchu Han banquet to get better. Xiaoyi. Dot. How could there be such a prank on my son? Okay, who would call this his own mother? Everyone is speechless. Who was frightened? Don't you have any pressure in your heart? The vice dean couldn't bear it any more and angrily said, Who the hell are you? You killed our students and used the magic of the extinct sect Ghost King sect. Even if you have Xuanwu turtle shells, I will never let you leave. The vice dean has already seen that the sedan chair that Yun Ranyue was riding on and the sedan chair driver next to her were all manipulated by the methods of the Ghost King sect. The Ghost King sect has already destroyed the sect, so how can there still be someone from this sect sorcery? You said that the Ghost King sect has been destroyed. Yun Ranyue suddenly lifted the curtain and walked out. She was slender and fair-skinned, with a thin veil on her face. She could vaguely see the beautiful silhouette beneath the veil. However, as everyone used their divine senses to sweep over her, they couldn't see her true appearance clearly, as if it was covered by clouds and mist. I can only see the mesmerizing eyes on her veil clearly, as if there is a vortex in it that almost draws people's attention in. There is a little red mole in the middle of her eyebrows, like a drop of blood, which adds a bit of inexplicable charm and charm to her. She squinted her eyes and looked at the vice dean, shimmering with a faint cold light. The vice dean stared at her and said in a deep voice. The practices used by the Ghost King sect are all evil spells that harm the common people and are not tolerated by heaven and earth. As early as five years ago, thunder fell from the heavens, destroying the Ghost King sect into ruins. Later, the righteous people of the world drove away all the remaining sins of the Ghost King sect to prevent future troubles. And yet, you actually used the evil techniques of the Ghost King sect, which I believe are also remnants of sins. 
Speaking, the vice dean's palm suddenly burst into a scorching flame. Boom! In an instant, the water vapor in the entire square evaporated, and in front of everyone, the sedan chair that Yun Ranyue had just sat on and the four sedan bearers next to him instantly turned into paper dust, floating everywhere. People exclaimed in surprise. It's a ghost slave. Indeed, it's a sorcery. The Vice Dean's strange fire is the pure and young eight wilderness lotus fire in the world, dedicated to combating these evil forces. Be sure to kill these remnants of the Ghost King clan. Xiaoyi's face collapsed, and the bad guys destroyed his mother's car and even scolded him and her. However, fortunately, Sister Aling had nothing to do, and her mother was even more powerful. Swallow it. Swallow it. Yun Ranyue's fingers moved, as if a voice was shouting hunger in her heart. She knew very well that this was the cry of the non-fully refined fire spirit in her body. The strange flames can devour each other, and her fiery spirit is so arrogant, indicating that it is stronger than the vice dean's strange flames. This strange fire was caught by her masters from the depths of the ghost abyss. What's the rush? The day will be long. She spoke to the fire spirit from the bottom of her heart, suppressing its restless thoughts. The vice dean is at the peak of the spiritual realm, and her cultivation in the Qinyin continent can rank in the top 30. When she can crush the vice dean, she can peel off the opponent's abnormal fire and devour it. Unfortunately, she stayed in the ghost realm for too short a time, and her strength has not yet reached this level. But there's nothing to be afraid of, she has a lot of life-saving skills. Watching more and more strong individuals emerge from the academy, surrounding them with weapons, Yun Ranyue slowly spoke out. The Ghost King sect has never used any harmful means, let alone the evil techniques mentioned by the Vice Dean. Instead, it uses the yin and evil energy of heaven and earth as a medium to communicate with them and use the ghost way techniques. Vice Dean snorted coldly, it's ridiculous. Back then, disciples of the Ghost King sect turned people from a village into zombie puppets, causing outrage in the sky. Why isn't it just a sorcery? Can't it be just framing and framing? As far as I know, when the leader of the Ghost King sect founded the sect, he established a sect motto not to harm others with ghost magic. Every disciple who joins the Ghost King sect will make a vow of the heavenly way. Vice Dean, perhaps the heavenly thunder you just mentioned was not intentionally introduced by someone as an excuse to destroy the Ghost King sect. Nonsense. The Vice Dean's face was gloomy, and his immortal demeanor and character were completely gone. Is it nonsense? I will prove to the world that I will investigate the destruction of the Ghost King sect thoroughly. If I know that there is a conspiracy involved, my aunt will definitely have to pay the price she deserves. Yun Ranyue met the gaze of the Vice Dean and bluntly countered. The Vice Dean was so excited that she even suspected that the extermination of the Ghost King sect was related to him. Do you think you can leave today? You killed a student from our school and just wanted to leave. A powerful invisible barrier surrounded Yun Ranyue and his companions, and the deputy dean sneered at the corners of his mouth. It's just a pair of ordinary mother and son. With a divine beast shell, it can only be considered a defensive weapon. If someone runs away at the entrance of the academy, it would be a great shame. Yun Ranyue remained calm and unhurried. With a hook in her hand, the rope that tied Yun Feifei's hand fell onto her. You can't leave. It's not up to you to decide. Let's settle the accounts first. If you want me to let Yun Feifei go, let Yun Shuewei exchange 100,000 high dot quality lingshir. End of this chapter. Chapter 9, Extortion. No, this is the compensation that should be given. You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio. Chapter 9, Extortion. No, this is the compensation that should be given do you want to exchange 100,000 high dot quality spirit stones for Yun Feifei. This is not extortion, what is it? The currency circulating in Qinyin continent now is inferior spirit stones, and this woman actually opens her mouth to be superior spirit stones. 
you should know that one top dot grade spirit stone is equivalent to 100 low dot grade spirit stones, and 100,000 top dot grade spirit stones is equivalent to 10 million low dot grade spirit stones. You can buy a small city. 10 million inferior spirit stones. This woman is like a lion opening her mouth. And Yun Xuewe is currently practicing in seclusion, preparing for the sect competition in seven days. It is a critical moment, how could she come out to deal with such a small matter? Shameless junior, act recklessly. You killed a student in our school and even thought of exchanging spirit stones for hostages, what a ridiculous and reckless act. Yun Ranyue smiled slightly, the rope in her hand swayed flexibly, and then tightly grasped Yun Feifei's neck, hanging her in mid-air. Yun Feifei's face suddenly turned red, struggling frantically, with her mouth open and unable to make a sound. Stop it! The vice dean shouted angrily. Everyone also showed signs of indignation. I never kill innocent people. The students in your college blocked the way and robbed me, so I paid for my own life. I kept Yun Feifei's life. I heard that her cousin is very skilled, so I hope to receive compensation. As long as she sends 100,000 high dot quality spirit stones, I will forget about this debt. Our students can never block the way and rob. You're just talking nonsense. No one will believe your one dot sided words unless you provide evidence to speak. The vice dean was right, and I guessed that your college would definitely not admit it, so I kept the evidence. Yun Ranyue's slender and fair hand had an additional colorful obsidian. When she saw the obsidian, the vice dean had a bad feeling in her heart. He reached out to grab it, but before he could even make a move, the obsidian projected a scene from the mountains in the air. Then I saw several students dressed in college attire appear, taking out weapons and shouting fiercely. We are students of Kanglin College, and this mountain range is our testing ground. If you want to pass through here, leave all the treasures on your body. Otherwise, your lives will be entrusted here today. He looks completely arrogant like a bandit. Seeing this scene, those onlookers were dumbfounded. It turned out that the students from Kanglin College were the ones who had the intention to pursue wealth first. How could these students do such a thing? The vice dean and others had a pale complexion, as if they had been slapped loudly on their faces. Yun Feifei was even more shocked in her eyes. Why did this woman even have extremely rare photographic stones in her hand, and surprisingly leave all their evidence in images? The evidence is here, Vice Dean. Do you still want to continue sheltering the students in your college? Yun Ranyue raised her eyes slightly, with a questioning tone. The Vice Dean let out a cold snort and spoke with righteousness and seriousness. A rice barn always has a few mouse droppings. Once our college discovers such students, they will be stripped of their cultivation and expelled from the college. We will not tolerate it. But you have already killed them, and Yun Feifei has been tormented by you to the point of not being human. But you still come to the college to cause trouble. This is just troublemaking. Let the people go. Vice Dean, don't worry. Later, there was something Yun Feifei said. After reading it, you can come to a conclusion and see if it's because I'm causing trouble. In the projection of the seven-colored obsidian, the voice of Yun Feifei, a fox pretending to be a tiger, appears. I have the best relationship with cousin Xuewei. If you kill me, you will be enemies with her. Even if you run to the ends of the earth in the future, she will not let you go. If you hand over all the treasures now, I won't let my cousin trouble you. Yun Ranyue said, did you hear that? I was planning to spare her, but she thought I was afraid of her cousin and threatened me with her cousin to hand over the treasure. Vice Dean, if this were you, could you bear it? The Vice Dean's face turned green. He had originally intended to help Shui Wei save this cousin, but he didn't expect Yun Feifei to say such arrogant and foolish things, and someone caught the handle, making his face turn pale. There is a reason that leads to results. I saved Yun Feifei's life just to see how powerful her cousin is. Now there are two options to solve this problem. 
either let her compete with my maid in a martial arts competition, or let her bring Yun Fei Fei back with a top dot grade spirit stone of 100,000 yuan. Absolutely ridiculous. Why did Shui Wei compete with a maid? A maid is nothing. At this moment, a handsome man dressed in luxurious clothes walked out of the crowd and said coldly. What kind of onion are you? Did my mother talk to you? Xiao Yi snorted. Qi Yuanxian was furious and said, Little brat, I am the crown prince of the Four Elephants Kingdom and also Yun Xuewei's fiancé A. Do you think I have the right to talk to your mother? Oh. So it's you. Xiaoyi dragged the tone and scrutinized it with a click. It turned out that this was her mother's former fiancé A, who was later snatched by Yun Xuewei. She didn't look as good as the sleazy doctor in the clinic. Yun Ranyue also looked at Qi Yuanxian. To be honest, if it weren't for this man coming out, she would have really forgotten about this person. He was the crown prince of the Four Elephants Kingdom who grew up with his childhood sweetheart. Later, Yun Xuewei appeared and after several seductions, he successfully changed the man's heart. It seems that you have heard of the crown prince, that's great. The crown prince ordered you to immediately release Yun Feifei. This 100000 top dot grade spirit stone has been released by the crown prince on behalf of Shui Wei. Qi Yuanxian spoke loudly, waving his hand and throwing a storage bag over like a beggar. On the surface, he disdains these 100,000 top dot grade spirit stones, but in reality, he feels heartbroken inside. That's a 10 million lower grade spirit stone. It was prepared by him to buy an important treasure for Yun Xuewei at the auction, which almost drained a major spiritual vein from the Four Elephants Kingdom. But in order to prevent Xue Wei from feeling sad about Yun Feifei after leaving the border, he could only bear the pain and take out this huge sum of money. However, the storage bag containing a huge spiritual stone fell to the ground and no one went to pick it up. What are you still doing in a daze? Prince Lingshir has given it to you. Hurry up and let Yun Fei Fei go. You threw it on the ground, who knows who it was for. Yun Ranyue said lightly, and with a movement of her finger, the rope tightened Yun Fei Fei even tighter, and her entire face was covered in a bluish-purple hue. Upon seeing the situation, Qi Yuan Hui didn't care about humiliating Yun Ranyue and others. He quickly picked up a storage bag and handed it over, asking Yun Ranyue to release her quickly. Yun Ranyue didn't pick it up, so Xiaoyi took it over. Xiaoyi slowly released her divine sense and scanned the storage bag. Seeing that there was not a missing spirit stone, she poured all the spirit stones into a bag around his waist, and then threw the storage bag to Qi Yuanyu. The vice dean stared at Xiaoyi with shock in his heart. At first, he thought that the child had no cultivation, only had some treasures on him. Unexpectedly, the child's divine consciousness just revealed had the strength of the spirit king realm, which was even higher than many excellent students present. How could this be possible? This child's bone age seems to be only four years old, how could he have such a high level of cultivation? And this woman and the maidservants around her, I don't know if they have any magical tools to conceal their cultivation, even he can't see through what their cultivation is. And even now, this woman has never made any moves. He squinted his eyes and saw that Yun Feifei had been rescued, so he said in a low voice. Since our personal grudges have been resolved, let's talk about business. You are the remnants of the Ghost King sect. As the leader of the Righteous Path, we cannot let you wait to harm the world. End of this chapter Chapter 10, I am the new leader of the Nine Star Sword Sect. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10, I am the new leader of the Nine Star Sword Sect. The Leader of the Righteous Path As far as I know, the leader of the Righteous Path is the famous Nine Star Sword Sect. As a college, what is the leader of the Righteous Path? Yun Ranyue let out a sneer, laughing that Kanglin Academy was quite good at putting gold on her face. An elder snorted coldly. Humph. The Nine Star Sword Sect was indeed glorious a hundred years ago, 
but its leader has fallen behind and has been declining day by day. Now, there is only one leader and one servant left in the Nine Star Sword sect, not to mention the leader. Even the top 100 sects in the northern region cannot enter. And this is the foundation of our sect, which has been ranked first every year in recent years. Yun Ranyue frowned slightly. Not only was the Ghost King sect destroyed, but also the Nine Star Sword sect of the Grand Master had no one left. What about the inheritance of other masters? She had a bad premonition in her heart, suspecting that the sects of other masters were also in trouble. Seeing her eyes sinking, the Vice Dean sneered. You ignorant young man, shouldn't you have come out of some deep mountain forest? Now Kenglin Academy is the first righteous path, and the Nine Star Sword sect has long been destroyed. Do you still imagine that the Nine Star Sword sect can save your life? Yun Ran and Yu Qingha said. Even if the Nine Star Sword sect has already been destroyed, it was the first sect in Qing Yun continent a hundred years ago. It led countless disciples to resist external invasions and protect the people of the continent. Its treasure, the Nine Star Sword, is full of noble righteousness and suppresses evil spirits. This is the wind of righteousness. What has your Kanglin Academy done? The Vice Dean and the Elders all darkened their faces. The Vice Dean suppressed his anger and said in a solemn voice, So what do you want to say? You are the remnants of the Ghost King sect, and is it related to you, the glory of the Nine Star Sword sect in the past? Of course it's related, because I'm the new leader of the Nine Star Sword sect. Yun Ranyue's words caused an uproar in the audience. Cough. Hu Xiu, who was watching the excitement by the window, almost choked to death with a sip of tea. He widened his eyes, suspecting that he had heard the wrong thing. He quickly took out the jade slip and whispered to Long Ye Yen, Brother Yen, come out quickly. The child who just recognized you as his father, his mother, actually said that she is the new leader of the Nine Star Sword sect. I was shocked. I have never seen such a boastful woman before. As soon as he finished speaking, he saw the woman in the square who was questioned take out a crimson long sword. As soon as the sword was unsheathed, a sense of righteousness could be felt from ten miles around. It's the Nine Star Sword. The Nine Star Sword is rumored to be a divine sword beyond the heavens, containing the supreme sword technique. The Six Ren Sword God of that year understood the sword technique and founded the world's top Nine Star Sword sect. Later, the Sword God fell, and this sword disappeared without a trace. Unexpectedly, this woman from somewhere had the long-lost Nine Star Sword in her hand. Not to mention the others, even Hu Xiu was dumbfounded. He quickly changed his tone to Yu Jian. I was wrong, Brother Yen. This woman could really be the new leader of the Nine Star Sword sect. She actually has the Nine Star Sword. Before he could finish speaking, the air around him twisted and Long Ye Yen appeared out of thin air, squinting his deep black eyes and looking out the window. Everyone's gaze was on the Nine Star Sword, while his gaze fell on the woman wearing the veil. This woman gave him an inexplicable sense of familiarity, as if he had seen her somewhere before. Is that her? As soon as this idea came out, it was immediately rejected by him. The woman was swept into the collapsed ghost valley, with no bones left. Moreover, the woman's eyebrows and eyes are still fine, without those three blood holes. The most important thing was. His gaze flashed past Yun Ranyue's curvaceous figure, then shifted away. The difference is too big, that woman is no different from a plain river, so she must not be the same person. Vice Dean, if I were really a crooked person, this nine-star sword wouldn't recognize me as the master. Now, will Vice Dean still say that we are the remnants of the Ghost King sect? Yun Ranyue's voice was clear and transparent, and her questioning instantly spread throughout the square. She is holding the sword of the Supreme Yang in her hand, with a noble and righteous aura that can make any evil appear. At this moment, who dares to say that she is a lingering evil? The Vice Dean's eyes were gloomy, and he didn't expect the woman to be able to wield the Nine Star Sword. His face changed, and then he smiled and said. 
You have the Nine Star Sword, it seems that you have no ulterior motives. It was our misunderstanding of you, and we apologize for it. I didn't expect the Nine Star Sword to appear again after so many years. However, I want to kindly remind you that the appearance of the Divine Sword will inevitably cause bloodshed. As a woman, you may not be able to hold on to this Nine Star Sword. Why not join our Kanglin Academy and let it take care of you? When your strength is strong, the Academy will return the Divine Sword to you. Xiaoyi stared at her round eyes with a shocked expression and said, Oh my goodness, mother, why does this old man want the sword to be kept by his mother instead of just saying it? This is too shameless. The vice dean's face turned black in an instant. Puzzy. Hu Xiu laughed out loud. The little guy is big and has a sharp tongue. He has never seen the vice dean suffer from exhaustion before, and no one can anger his righteous old friends like this. Vice Dean snorted coldly, ignorant child, this seat is full of good intentions. The Nine Star Sword sect has been defeated, leaving only the last two people. No one can protect this sword now, except for Kanglin Academy. Oh, I understand your kindness, but unfortunately my master once told me that even dogs in Kanglin Academy won't enter. If I join your academy, wouldn't I become a dog? Let's just forget about it. Yun Ranyue slowly withdrew her sword and raised the corner of her mouth, cursing the entire college. This mother and son's eloquence is really amazing. Yen, are you really okay? Hu Xiu asked with an itchy heart. He didn't mind being a dad or anything, mainly because this woman was too interesting. If she had nothing to do with Yen, he would try it himself. But in front of Yan's cold gaze, he suddenly felt that trying might lead to his death, they have nothing to do with me, and I'm not interested either. Long Yan said coldly, not knowing that in the near future, he would be severely beaten in the face. Upon hearing this, Hu Xiu felt a sense of joy in his heart, and then he heard Yan Gu say again, but they may have something to do with my older brother. If you're not afraid of getting into trouble, go and give it a try. Ah. Your big brother. When Hu Xiu thought of his elder brother, he suddenly felt unlucky. That person was proficient in eating, drinking, prostitution, and gambling. He used to deceive many ignorant girls under the name of Yen Gu, and even his illegitimate children could form a class in Kanglin Academy. Suddenly, he stared and asked, Brother Yen, what if this woman was also deceived by your elder brother in your name? Long Ye Yen. Dot. Mother, this is it. At that moment, the door was pushed open and the mother and son walked in. Hu Xiu looked out the window and saw that the people in the square had scattered. Surprisingly, the mother and son came over directly. What are they doing here? Did he really get it right with his raven mouth? End of this chapter.